Spaghetti Pomodoro is one of the easiest, cheapest, but tastiest tomato-based pasta dishes going, and you desperately need to learn how to cook it. Halve around 500 grams of ripe, juicy tomatoes and put them on a baking tray covered in plenty of olive oil, salt, and pepper before turning them over, adding a few cloves of garlic, and roasting on 180 degrees for about 35 minutes. While that's cooking, dice up a white onion and fry in olive oil until it's soft and starts to brown. Add a generous squeeze of tomato paste and cook it for a few minutes to get rid of that bitter taste. Heavily salt your pasta water and throw that spaghetti in. After 35 minutes, the tomatoes should have really sweetened up. You can use chopped tomatoes if you're a lazy cunt, but you won't get that same rich flavour to the sauce. It's worth the extra effort. Put your onions, roasted garlic and tomatoes with all their gorgeous juices into a blender and pulse until smooth. Add a good handful of basil and give it another blast so the leaves are nicely chopped but not mush. Empty the sauce out into your pan and season again with salt and pepper to bring out all those flavours and simmer for a couple of minutes. Start introducing the spaghetti and mixing it all in. The pasta water will really help emulsify the sauce and make it silky as fuck. Grate about 50 grams of parmesan over the top and mix all that together with a tiny bit more pasta water. Then you're done. Serve it with even more parmesan and a big glug of olive oil. I hope you enjoyed your first pasta class. Congratulations, you are now Italian. Today we're making a super simple chocolate cake and it's so easy to make, it only takes four ingredients. Mm. This is the greatest chocolate cake. First, we're gonna mix together 28 crushed up Oreos, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one cup of milk. Pop this into a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Place this back into the oven for a few minutes until the chocolate slightly melts. And there you have it, a simple chocolate cake. Let's make my super easy cheese nuggets because they are... First of all, cut your cheese into rectangles and put in the freezer for one hour. Now, mix some rice flour with salt, baking soda and sparkling water and fry for a couple of minutes or until it's super sexy. Today we're making a soft and creamy chocolate cake and it's so easy to make, it only takes four ingredients. Mmm, that is so delicious. First, we're gonna mix together one egg yolk, one tablespoon of sugar, and half a cup of any type of coffee that you like. Now we wanna pop this in the microwave for about one to two minutes. Then we're gonna add in half a cup of dark chocolate and let this sit for about one minute. Pop this into the freezer for a few hours until it's fully set. And there you have it, soft and creamy chocolate cake. I am making something I've never made before. Why? Because it's still tomato season. And yes, I am chopping an eggplant right now, but the star of the show is tomatoes. So first you're going to chop an eggplant as fine as you can. Trust me on this. Then you're gonna add paprika, garlic powder, dried oregano, salt, olive oil, nutritional yeast, and the juice of half a lemon. Mix it all together and then more paprika, I decided. And I'm gonna chop up some garlic, a bunch of garlic, because I feel like eggplant doesn't have oh, a taste. Oh, did you see a wagon? It's going in there. Yeah, so yep, just keep chopping, add that. And then a pound of ground beef and rice, uncooked rice. Again, mm -hmm. I've never tried this before, so let's see what happens. Then I have these beautiful heirloom tomatoes I got at the farmer's market. I am coring them, I guess, hollowing them out like that. And then don't worry, I saved the guts. I put it into the mixture that I'm stuffing them with because I feel like the tomato juice is gonna help cook the rice and it's just gonna be such delicious flavor. So yep, stuff that in. And then I had extra, so I decided to stuff it into this red pepper that I had All in my right. fridge. And then I'm gonna put it in the, the oven, but it's my air fryer, but it's also an oven and let's taste it. So good, it's so good. So I've made lots of fudge recipes, but I've never made this recipe in the microwave, so I wanted to give it a go. Just add the condensed milk and white chocolate to a bowl and microwave in one minute intervals, stirring in between. Mine took about three minutes. Fold in some broken Oreos, then scoop it into a tin and smooth it out. Refrigerate until set, and that's it. It's super easy. Enjoy. <laughs> Porque te 
I have been making this chickpea cake on repeat at least once a week for the past couple of months. My kids are obsessed with it. I love it and I feel like I'm doing good because it's chickpeas, coconut milk, date caramel, oat flour, eggs, all delicious, like nutritious ingredients. And I love that my kids love it because they wouldn't touch a chickpea with a 10 foot pole, but they love this cake. So anyway, the link is in our profile. If you want the recipe, you have to try it. Even if you think it sounds gross, it's so good. What's better than Spam Asubi? Crispy, spicy Spam Asubi. It's so delicious and so easy to make. Let's crack open a can of Spam, slice it up, and fry them. Set aside and let's move on to our sweet, spicy soy sauce glaze. Combine soy sauce, water, sugar, sriracha cha, and miso paste for extra savoriness. Then throw the Spam back in and fry a couple of eggs on the pan. Cut it into the same size as a Spam. Chop some chilies and then let's oil the bottom of a dish and mold your rice. Cut it into squares. Now for the fun part. Dip your rice paper in water and start assembling your masubi. Wrap it in seaweed and place it right in the middle of the rice paper. Now the key is to keep everything super tight. I like to start from the bottom to the top, then tuck in the side flaps right under. Look at that wrapping skill. And then get it crispy with some oil on the pan. And you can also air fry it and then serve it up with some spicy mayo. Beef kebabs, spring onions, red onions, garlic, spice blend, rosemary, breadcrumbs, plain flour, eggs, salt and pepper, garlic, first coat, second coat, Creamy Hawaiian style mac salad. Let's make it. Salt your water like the sea. Eight ounce of short or regular macaroni. Cook until al dente. Drain. One grated carrot in while it's still warm. One and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And toss. When completely cooled, 12 ounces of best food mayonnaise. Half tablespoon of white sugar. Fourth cup of whole milk. Combined well. I put in a Tupperware and I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it get nice and cold. 